Hello and welcome to the 16 Days of Activism Against Gender Violence for 2012. I'm Marie Fortune. I'm the founder and senior analyst here at Faith Trust Institute. And today is the first day of the 16 Days Campaign, which is a global initiative to highlight all the work going on around the world to address violence against women and girls. Each year, the campaign begins on November 25th, which is the International Day for the Elimination of Gender-Based Violence, and ends on December 10th, which is Human Rights Day. The campaign was started in 1991 by the Center for Women's Global Leadership at Rutgers University. It continues today as a concentrated effort to focus international attention on gender violence and to strengthen efforts at the local level. We hope you can find a way to connect to the campaign, perhaps through uh, activities that are going on in your community. The website at the end will be displayed to show you uh, how to find more information about the campaign and the efforts going on around the world. But here at Faith Trust Institute, during the 16 days, we'll be bringing you the voices of various faith leaders, one each day, speaking to the intersection between ending gender violence and their personal faith commitments. We'll hear about how their faith traditions informs and motivates their work. We'll hear about ideas they have for addressing gender-based violence from a faith perspective and what resources their traditions offer to our common work of ending this violence. We hope that these voices will encourage and inspire you in your work to end violence against women and girls. But as we begin the campaign this year, I cannot help but think of Malala Yousafzai the 14-year-old Pakistani girl who was attacked by the Taliban just because she was going to school and getting an education and advocating the same for other girls. Thankfully, she survived the attempt to murder her, but even as she recovers, she is still being threatened with violence. Malala's experience graphically illustrates one of the basic principles of our work at Faith Trust Institute. Faith is fundamental to ending gender-based violence. And in Malala's case, religious fundamentalism, cultural practice, and sexism combined to render her a target for violence. Whenever religious teaching is distorted and misused to justify violence against women and girls, we see clearly the importance of addressing faith issues and the importance of leadership within faith communities. In the United States, we continue to see women who are forced to stay in abusive marriages because of the teachings of their faith. We see children who are physically and sexually abused and then who are silenced by the instruction to honor their parents. We see some faith leaders taking advantage of the vulnerabilities of their congregants and then justifying this misconduct by quoting scripture. But most importantly now, we are seeing leadership within our faith communities to counter these destructive messages. Violence against women and girls is not consistent with the teachings of the major faith traditions. In fact, for many of us who are people of faith, it is the teachings of our faith that call us to speak out and to work to end gender violence. For me as a Christian, I believe that when Jesus says in the Gospels that he came that we might have life and have it abundantly, he means for girls and women just as much as for boys and men. Any act of violence or exploitation towards a woman diminishes her life and is a sin. So we welcome your participation in the 16 days campaign from now until December 10th. And if you're inspired by the voices you hear, feel free to pass them along to your family, friends, and colleagues 
to encourage them in resisting gender-based violence and in seeking to bring forth justice and healing in this brokenness in our world. Thank you.